All right, you guys, today we're check out how to make this a really cool inflating typo in Illustrator and Dimension. Let's start in Illustrator, select the Type tool, type in whatever you want. By the way, I went with a Stratos Black. This is an Adobe font you can download. I'm going to leave a link in the description. Right-click on the text, create outline, right-click on group, and I'm going to rearrange it and customize it a little. And now let's recolor every letter one by one. Great, now I'm going to select all the letters, press Ctrl G to group them. Let's go to the Align, align it to the center. I'm going to select the black now, and let's select the rectangle. And I'm going to make a rectangle and fill up the artboard. Right-click on the rectangle, go to Arrange, Send to Back. Now select everything. Let's go to the Pathfinder, click on the three dots, and select Divide. Now let's select it again, go to 3D Materials, and click on Inflate. Decrease the depth to zero. And if you activate the ray tracing, it is going to look something like this. And we're going to push it to the next level in Adobe Dimensions. So I'm going to deactivate the ray tracing. Let's go to Asset Export. If you don't have it, you can go to Windows, select the Asset Export, and just drag and drop the 3D in here. Make sure to choose GLTF. Click on Export. And now we're going to go to Adobe Dimensions. And let's go to the GLTF folder and bring the asset right here. I'm going to bring it up, press the number one, and it looks something like this. Now we're going to position this 90 degrees. I'm going to select the selection tool and I'm going to select this red dot right here and bring it upwards, press and hold shift also. So now you can see it is going to rotate upwards until it's going to be minus 90 degree. And I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to go to the camera and I'm going to go here to the Z rotation. I'm going to go with 90. We got the Y rotation, 90. I'm going to zoom out. There we go. And I'm going to select it. And I'm going to rotate the Z axis. Rotate it. Press and hold shift, 90 degrees. Zoom in. Now let's go ahead and activate the ray tracing. And it's going to make it look quite realistic. Now let's go to the assets too. This is our composition. Now we're going to go here to the unnamed four, for example. This is the letter T. I'm going to go and double click on the icon on this little cube and it's going to open up the properties and we got here the roughness. I'm going to decrease this to 15. Enter and it's going to make it look really plasticky. So I'm going to go to the rest as well and try to select only the letters. I won't select this black inflation. Now you can see the letters are shiny. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to the environment light. And here you can do a couple of things. You can change the rotation of the reflection and you can increase or decrease the intensity as well. Or you can go here to the model, collapse these materials. And here you can find different kind of environment lights or directional lights. Now I selected this three point light and here you got a couple of customization and a couple of key lights. You can activate them, deactivate them, select them and customize them however you like. And this was it. Thanks for watching.